Hello folks, welcome back to the show here on Flight Director. I give you guys the latest that happened in movie news throughout the week, and then I give you guys my personal take on the matter at hand. I'm your host, Austin Putnam, and let's start off with some news that maybe it is go... WHAT?! So apparently there was a poll out there that suggested by readers, I'm not sure if it's actually readers than Hollywood themselves, but apparently... Everyone wants Bash the Future to be rebooted? Are you kidding me? So I was going through my Twitter feed about a couple days ago and I saw the headline, Great Scott, apparently fans want Back to the Future rebooted, but when I actually look at the Twitter headlines, no one wants to see a Back to the Future reboot. I mean, 99%, which should be about everyone at that point, does want a Back to the Future reboot. So something tells me Hollywood is trying to get something going on here. I don't want Back to the Future to be rebooted. I really don't. Back to the Future... If you guys know me personally, it's one of my all-time favorite films. It's in my top 10. Back to the Future just... I can't see how anyone would review Back to the Future. I really don't. I mean, I know somebody said they would like to see a new adventure of the DeLorean, which... I guess? But at the same time, it's Back to the Future. You're rebooting Back to the Future. One of the greatest films of all time. I mean, just when I hear stuff like this... It really makes me lose faith in filmmaking in general because Back to the Future is just one of those things that you just cannot touch. I mean, even Bob Gill and Robert Zemeckis, when someone asked him about about a possible continuation of Back to the Future or a remake or a reboot, they said, over our dead bodies, it'll happen. And I just think, thank God that they're sticking up for their, for like, just, it's a, perf it's a perfect film, really. I hope it doesn't happen, but I will say this. If they do a new adventure with Back to the Future that doesn't have Doc Brown or Marty McFly or even anyone involved and they have new characters involving maybe a new DeLorean, maybe I'll, I'll be somewhat intrigued, but otherwise, if it's a straight up remake, don't you dare. Don't you dare. So our next news story doesn't really surprise me, but it makes me really happy at the same time. But it was reported that Aquaman, so tickets are now on sale, and that apparently in the first 24 hours, it has already beaten records. I don't know exactly what records it has beaten, but all I know is that it has beaten 24-hour ticket sales, and I couldn't be happier for this film. I mean, Aquaman looks amazing. It looks awesome. Seriously, the DCEU... I think has been a rough patch. I've been saying this for a long time now. But with, but with Wonder Woman last year, I mean, Justice League kind of was a very bumpy road, but I liked it for what it was. We have Aquaman next month. We have Shazam next year, which I think is going to be a freaking blast, if you ask me. But really, I think Aquaman's going to be great. You have an amazing filmmaker, James Wan, who I think is one of the best directors out there in the horror genre. I mean, not just horror genre, but one of the best storytellers in general, if you ask me. I am super excited to see what James Wan does with Aquaman, and I'm going to see this movie. If I don't get a screening for it, I am seeing this opening night in IMAX because apparently James Wan has said that about roughly 90% of the movie is in IMAX which makes me very happy. I am so excited to see what those underwater Atlanta scenes are gonna look like in IMAX. I cannot wait for this movie. Plus, who is not excited to see the Barbarian from Game of Thrones, Jason Momoa, playing as Aquaman? Who is not excited about that? I have loved everything I have seen of Jason Momoa and those trailers. He just looks like he has this attitude that I absolutely love. I can't wait to see this movie. Which one of my most anticipated films of next month along with Bumblebee and Mary Poppins Returns and for a much more indie film and in the apocalypse. But still, cannot wait to see Aquaman, can't wait to see what James Wan brings, and I cannot wait to see this underwater adventure. Bring it on! Now in terms of trailers this week, we did get two trailers. One of them was for a film, I swear, I thought I would not be on board with, but now that I've seen an image and I've seen this trailer, count me in for Once Upon a Deadpool. Seriously, now if you guys don't know what Once Upon a Deadpool is, it's essentially the PG-13 version of Deadpool, the which I thought would never work, but this trailer makes me intrigued, I'm not gonna lie. But from what I've been hearing, basically this new movie is essentially newly shot scenes and they're pairing the princess bread, which I think is absolutely brilliant. But this trailer, I'm not gonna lie, had me laughing sort of, especially the up joke. Brilliant. Just brilliant there. From what I've been hearing, Fox is gonna keep a close eye on this because I am thinking that if this does well, they're going to try and integrate Deadpool into the PG-13 Marvel Cinematic Universe, into which, not going to lie, I do want to see Deadpool in the MCU, I really do, but at the same time, 
I want Deadpool to stay R-rated. I don't want Deadpool to be toned down because I have said this multiple times. I would rather have no Deadpool movie or even no X-Force movie than a toned down Deadpool movie. It just doesn't make any sense to not have a foul mouth Merc with the mouth up without having his motor mouth essentially. It really doesn't make any sense. But nonetheless, I'm still interested in this. I actually really want to see how this turns out. As long as they keep Deadpool R-rated after this, that's okay with me. But if they end up keeping, but if they end up going with PG-13 Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds is the only person that can make it work. If so, I mean, I'm hoping it's good. I really do. But the next trailer, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I freaked out when I saw this. So as we all know, the CG live action adaptation of Lion King is coming out next year. I cannot tell you guys how excited I am about it. John Favreau is directing who did the Jungle Book and also did the first Iron Man film, two films that I love. And I've been waiting for the trailer. This film looks incredible. I love the amount of detail that goes into the furs, but really everything and hearing. The main theme song from Elton John just the state of right now is giving me goosebumps and hearing James Earl Jones voice Thank you. The trailer looked incredible. I want to see more. I don't even know if I want to see more at this point because man this movie looks absolutely amazing and plus this cast I mean Donald Glover, Seth Rogen, Billy Agner, Keegan-Michael Key uh, John Oliver, oh my, Beyonce Knowles, you have James Earl Jones returning back, I mean, what is there not to like about this? And she will tell Edgy of four, seriously, what is there not to like about this cast? Cannot wait for this movie, it comes out next summer, bring on next year already, please. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this week's show. Guys, please comment down and let me know below, how do you guys feel about Back to the Future reboot? Do you think it's absolutely unnecessary or would you guys like to see something new with the DeLorean also how do you guys feel about Aquaman breaking records for first day ticket sales are you guys going to see Aquaman opening night in IMAX and finally how do you guys not only feel about once upon a Deadpool but also the Lion King trailer are you guys excited for both these movies specifically for Lion King let me know below I hope you guys enjoyed this week's show if so please hit that like button and turn to subscribe if you guys want to see last week's show please click right there or right there and of course until next week's show we will see you guys next week have a great week, guys.